And welcome everyone to the second spoiler cast for the second episode of Miss Marvel. Uh, as <laughs> always, I'm Mitch. You can find me on Twitter at 692 tweets. I almost did it there. And of course, I'm joined by Sean. Hey, you can join me on Marvel the Martian underscore 12. Hey, yeah, good episode. <laughs> I enjoyed it. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I enjoyed you had it. Me, yeah. You had me going for a while. I was I like, really, I, I mm, this is going to be another one of those days, man. <laughs> Until the purple shit showed up, and then it's like, oh. Uh, <laughs> no, I, 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 I enjoy the show. I do. I genuinely enjoy the show. I just, I, I see that and like, ugh. <laughs> It brings it all back, right? Yeah, it's just like, oh. Oh, no, it's doing, it's doing what the show should do. Like, you know, I, to put everything aside, Mm -hmm. I like the, the, the mystery they're setting up here and the whole thing behind it. It's just, yeah, it's just, so you could have uh, at least made it look better than what it does. That, that's that's my, my <laughs> you know, it, it, why it looks literally like a purple turd. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> right? Maybe that's the whole point. That's what it's I mean, I assume, I assume it is, but it's just like... The visual effects I've seen people be like, oh, it's purple because per- Terrigen are purple. And it's like, no, Terrigen's never been fucking purple. It's green, you tit. <laughs> Get your colors right, man. Admittedly, uh, green would look horrendous on this. Uh, look yeah, worse, but, you know, I would yeah. rather purple than green. To, yeah. To be honest with if you. I have um, to have it, purple's fine, I guess. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I love the mystery so far, mm. like of like who her grandmother is, like, and then yeah, yeah, because there's a lot of. Also, the the show directly attacked me with the whole partition story. I'm just like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're trying yeah. to forget about that, Marvel. Don't remind us, please. Right. Just like, all you people that, you know, in uh, England, you know, this is what, what happened. I'll, I'll be perfectly honest. That was legit the first time I ever heard about a partition. We got not taught about that in the slides. Of course not. Why would you? Get it's just like America. We don't t- teach about the slavery, yeah. you know. I was, I, I was yeah. watching it. I was like, British partition? What? That's kind of It's like... You Google it, and you're like, oh, <laughs> oh, I'm not surprised, but oh, <laughs> that, that's the thing we did. Like, oh, sorry, because <laughs> they, they do the same thing in America. They don't teach about like you know no. us. <laughs> Can't teach you about the bad culture. things you've done. No. Even though America teach good, about everybody else, man. Yeah. We'll teach you the stuff that was bad, but we can twist it to be a good thing. Yeah, we did them a favor, okay? Yeah. That's what we did. UK and India? Yeah, no, we will. <laughs> we we freed them that. from their we'll tyranny, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I, I still love... blame the Romans. They influenced us hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I blame Romans for everything. Trump? Romans? Um, Italians. Like, what are you playing? Yeah. Hey, hey, watch it. I'm Italian, man. Oh, it's your fault. Yeah. Well, it's my ancestor's fault, not my fault. Yeah, it's your fault. Stupid (laughs) wops. But yeah, it's um. Oh, it's it's a. I I enjoyed the show. It's it's very very well done. Yeah. Um. So, what's your favorite part of the episode? Um. I know what you don't like so, but <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just Iman as a whole. Like I'm with Elaine, yeah. she's she just nails the crap out of it. Yeah, she's I 100 percent agree. Like, it's just like is there she, anything this kid can't do? Like God damn. She plays Kamal Khan to a T perfectly. Yeah, I, I'm like, I'm heavily convinced she was bred in the lab for this one specifically. Yeah, well, I mean, like you go back to the the casting for Marvel stuff, it's always like this right with very little exceptions you know they're i mean there's varying degrees i I don't think everyone is like an rdj (laughs) level casting where you can't like literally no i'd get mad if they recast iron man i'd I'd actually get mad for multiple multitude of reasons you know dude's dead right now um (laughs) have some respect yeah like you know like a nick fury there's different yeah. Nick Furies. You, you can pick, get people in there. Like, would I like someone else be Captain America? No. Or st- no. <laughs> let, let me rephrase that. Would I like to see someone else be Steve Rogers? Because obviously we have Sam Wilson's Captain America now. Like, yeah. Steve Rogers, I think it's tough. I think you could get someone else to be Cap. Would he be as good as Chris Evans? Possibly not. 
but it's blasphemy. I think you could recast that role. I think it's the same with Thor. I think it's the same with like Star Lord. Mm-hmm. Like it's, the Hulk, yeah. you can recast the Hulk quite easily because they, they... <laughs> they've done it already, tw- like what, like technically three times, you know. <laughs> but no, yeah. you know, uh, I, I respectfully disagree with you with the Captain America and Thor. I think Chris Hemsworth, Hemsworth, and Evans have made those characters. Like I, per- I personally pictured them when I read the comics. Now, like you know, like I mean, the Star- yeah, I but I, I think- it's. I just don't think they're at that level. You know, like yeah, a, a Tom Holland, think, like, you know, yes, we've had three, like, more than three Spider Man at this point, but I think <laughs> you're going to be exceedingly hard done by to find someone do it better. Ouch. I I don't want to get back into the territory of last week when we were in heated conversations, but <laughs> I think we might end up in that. No, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I think Chris Hemsworth and Evans have made those characters i mean in my opinion i'm sure that some people can agree with me on that uh, possibly disagree with me but like you know like i mean the people would love cap they'll, they'll I, agree they'll agree i think because well, i mean like i think chris evans especially meant like he like he is captain america also like if you read his instagram and twitter it's like oh I mean, yeah the, the dude like... acts like him but it's a case of like <laughs> is that be- does that mean like he was playing Cap as himself and not the character. Because you look at I RDJ is not the same as Tony Stark. No, I think it's an amalgamation of like the character and a little bit of it's the same with Thor. I think like I, Thor is a little bit different because like in the comics he's like very stoic and you know and like I say uh, Th- Thor's a very different character in the comics. Yeah, I, I think I think he, I think uh, Hemsworth makes that character his own in, in so many different ways that. Like it almost transcends the comic version to a, to a T for, to a point for me, um, but I th- I'm not saying that like Chris Evans is like at the point of RDJ because RDJ is like you look at him it's Tony Stark, like yeah. he looks like Tony Stark. I mean even before he got the Tony Stark gig, he actually looked like Tony Stark and like his personal life. I think he took a lot of his personal life and applied it to the character, you know, because it's mm. almost mirror. It almost mirrors the character almost in a way you know with the exception of being a a billionaire and a superhero but like you you look at rdg rdg uh, rdg's whatever robert downey jr's life i mean he is been troubled by alcohol you know and like he's but i love a lot of cocaine <laughs> I don't know if Tony Stark did a cocaine, but I mean, he is a rich guy. Oh, co- you know, Tony, so. Tony Stark's been <laughs> sniffing, let's be honest here. There's no way that man had him. I, I assume he's doing something the equivalent of cocaine in that universe, you know, and behind it's the scenes. Slightly off screen because Disney. <laughs> yeah. But like uh, that, that that blonde haired reporter, like, oh yeah, she, yeah, she was. He, oh, yeah, yeah, some, yeah. he, he sniffed something. Right. But I, you know, and then you can take Charlie Cox and that that's to the to the list. Of see, Charlie that, like, Cox, I would absolutely put with the RDJ level. I don't want to see anyone yeah. else with that. Ah, uh, yeah, no chance. I, in, but I, 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 I feel that way about Chris Evans. You know, like I think he he looks this, like Cap. I think it's Chris Evans. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to see it, but, but you, you, if it did happen, I I think someone's be. got a chance to do just as good or better. That, that that's don't say John. Me. Don't right. say John. Don't say John Krasinski or Jensen Eccles, and I'll be happy. Oh no, I'm 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 not a madman. No, no. <laughs> um, Krasinski's like. Uh, he's, he's dropped down in my books a little bit, especially after Mark yeah. Madness. But um, like, you know, I I can see someone at some point at least having as good of a crack at it as ever. Yeah. Whereas yeah. like I, the others, I don't see anyone ever being. Able to I, that I honestly think that'll never happen. <laughs> I think that like I, mean, I it think... probably wouldn't, but um, uh, but I'll put that with I'm in in. I, I would put I'm in, in that same category as uh, RGJ and a hundred percent. Because I mean, she, if you look at her, it, it almost mirrors the character in the comic with the aesthetic and how she acts, you know, she, and like, it, it does help that she's a fan of the, of the character and she's been reading these characters in a fan of the universe, you know? So I think that helps a lot, you know, yeah, um, yeah. but uh, you know, uh, she's such a sweetheart she's such a great actress and like 
when all that stuff happened with the, the the review bombing and all that stuff, I just was really like it took me kind of bummed me out, you know, because it's like like they did the same thing to like the Morgan Stark, you know, they like you should never do this that type of stuff to like kids, you know, like it's just ridiculous, you know. Yeah. But she she I think she kills it. I think she kills it and like I'm so happy to see that she is gonna be a big focal point of the universe after this, you know, so Oh yeah, yeah. In fairness, the entire cast kills it in this show. Oh yeah, I mean Bruno. I, I can't was... remember the the friend's name for the life of me, but the the one that's running for like the thing in the mask. Yeah, like she nails the hell out of that role. I think. Yeah. If I had to say whoever's weakest, it's probably Bruno for me. Really? I yeah. I yeah, think I... that Bruno is do- he's doing a good enough job, but he's absolutely bottom of the the pile. The, of, at the, yeah. yeah, the parents are always like the the family is like perfect. Yeah, they yeah. nail it. They nail it. You know, the, it's like they're swap. They're, they're kind of like the the uh, the roles are reversed though in in the show. But like, yeah, it, yeah, it does. They do hold that like you know like the 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 templates there. You know, and like I think they, I love the father. The father's so adorable. You know, like that, that moment. <laughs> He's a gem, he, that bloke. When he brought, when he jumped in the room, dressed up as a Hulk, and like I was like, oh man, I I wish my father would do that. He never did that, you know. <laughs> I wish <laughs> my dad would come back. Yeah. <laughs> Hasn't even got a degree. Just come back. <laughs> <laughs> That's a <laughs> therapy <Nice>. session. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I can yeah. laugh at it. If anyone's got a problem, I, I'm allowed to laugh at it. So that's fine. Um, oh no, this <laughs> the cast is, I, is yeah, great. The, the cast they nail it. It's so. They're, they're all fantastic. But I think but, uh, going back to the favourite bit of it, I, I really I really couldn't tell you, to be honest. The bit that uh, sticks out to me the most is I, I think a lot of it's me just really trying to like puff on the hopium here. But like, it's, it's the idea that this bracelet isn't yeah. just have consistent powers with other people. Yeah. When they're talking about the um the kid that gets on the train, so like, yeah. oh she followed the trail of stars and so that's nothing like what Kamala has. Yeah. Like yes, Kamala says it's like an idea come to life, but I think that's more explaining how she works the bracelet. Yeah, not how, yeah, that's like, what she can specifically do. And I don't know if you caught the line. I don't know if it was in this episode, or the episode before that, where they. Bruno does the scan. He's like, you know, it's not coming from. It's us in this one, yeah, because they're, they're yeah, the little training montage that starts. Like, it's not. It's coming from like inside you or whatever. Yeah. So. Like, it, yeah. <laughs> I I think that I think I think the bracelet is a MacGuffin in a way. Um, oh, yeah, it's... yeah. I I've been on that board that oh, that board that train for a while. A good like. It's, it's, it's like yeah, that yeah. this thing's it's a tool. It's, it's nothing. Yeah. Like, it's it, it it's it's and like when people compare it to Green Lantern, Green Lantern is more it's like a utilitarian thing. It's not a MacGuffin so much as this is the power source. This is what powers the whole thing, you know. And I think I think only people why the only people reason people associate that with him is is the visuals of the, of, the, of, the, of the power. You know? uh, I so, mean, it's it's a bit more than that, you know. If you Take the basic thing. What does Green Lantern do? He has something that lets him make these constructs. What is Kamara doing right now? She has something that lets her make these constructs. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, be fair. They're doing Green Lantern way better than DC. I mean, they are. A hundred percent. You know, it's... <laughs> you know, that's a positive, right? You know, like this yeah, is the best know. Green Lantern. You know, in uh, and in, it's, in... it's not even an unfair jab to make because they can't even get Green Lantern out the gate. Well, I mean, and when they did, it was, oof. it was oof. bad. But like, where's Green oof. Lantern and HBO Max? Like, what's going know. on with that? I think should have been out <laughs> five years I ago. We'll, I think we'll be asking that question like a couple years from now. Like, <laughs> whatever happened to Green Lantern? You no, know, even the Green Lantern on the CW, you can you can tell they pulled the show yeah. that Dig was supposed to be Green Lantern in because he's like, yeah, no, nah, I don't do this anymore. Just like. Anyway, enough about that. Yeah, there's a tangent. <laughs> I, I can, I understand, I can understand the Green Lantern comparison. It's 
yeah to, to me that's a totally valid is it surface level absolutely but yeah. it's there, there is a thing that lets them do a thing it's colorful light stuff yeah i guess and they did they i mean even name dropped it's hard light they call she calls it hard light so but i mean yeah. but you can you can't what there's no other way to describe it i mean like you can't there's just nothing really no other way to describe what the power is without saying you know it's hard light you know like, or, or something that variation i mean it's just it's like crystals isn't it yeah that is very weird right it looks like a crystal right Oh yeah, I I noticed that a long time ago. Yeah, don't you? Don't you? Yeah. The, the the hopium, the hope and the copium <laughs> with me has been is been flowing with this show and uh, any, you know, even just noticing in the trailers that stuff stretching. I'm just like, come on, this. Uh, there's there's it's, there's there's obviously more to it. Like I haven't been yeah. that dumb, but it's no, just... no, I I I understand the criticism of people. You can only talk about what's presented to you, correct, right? But you know, I I don't know. It it it, it it's the, there's a fear. There, there's a fear that you're wrong. <laughs> Talking uh, from your yeah. perspective for um, on my perspective here. It's the fear uh, that you're I'm wrong. So like they they, they duck they duck and weave a little bit, and it's like if they weave on this one. I'm gonna go. Uh... I yeah. I, I don't want to get back into that. Oh no no no! Oh, no. <laughs> well, we we wrapped that up nicely last episode, yeah. but like you know, um, personally, as long as they keep up what they're presenting to us, yeah. If it know, carries on as it is, fine. It, it's a, it'll it'll still be know, like their best show because at the minute it's definitely their strongest one from the get go. No, yeah. There is there problems with some people, yes, but yeah. is it? Am I one of them? Some, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, <laughs> vocally yes. Um, but like I, I, you know, I, I, I try to give the benefit of the doubt to some some shows. That way, it's not like I'm, you know, and like I, I, I try. I, I, I do try. Yeah, it's just, you do. I can, yeah. I can hear the the strain in your voice. There's, right? there's. I want to some, Sometimes more, but... I do try. I, I do desperately try. It might not sound like it because I got my own voice, but I I do try. It's just it's hard. I'm sure. It, it's it's if you're gonna do it, at least make it something I like. Right. Purple crystal it's, stuff. Nah. <laughs> so can I can I ask you a question? <clears throat> you can. Depends what it is now. <laughs> it'll be in, I'm sure it'll be an interesting answer. Answer, but so if at the end of a season it's still the, the still the same, and as long as they present it in a way that makes sense to you would your opinion change or would it say the same um i think it depends on the justification of it It, it, say you know they 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 don't answer the mystery fully in this show right there's 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 i'm not expecting it to because obviously there's the marvels like that's yeah that's where i was going with it you know it's like they, they they give you a carrot that alludes to something else, and then the Marvels comes out of here and is like, boom, hey, this is the thing. And yeah. like, here's where the thing you want the thing to happen happens. Cool. Fine with it. If, you know, if they take as long as Scarlet Witch, I'll get, a, I, I'll be like, <laughs> why? There was no, I understand why Scarlet Witch had this transitional period because there was a lot of, foxy stuff going on with that you haven't got that in miss marvel so why do the same thing like that's yeah uh, that, that's more my things like, it's, it's just it's, if it happens and it's, it happens in the marvel cool if it doesn't happen and there's an, another justification for it and it's decent enough fine i'll suck it up and i'll live with that i'll never get the hot toy <laughs> straight out like that hot toy is never stepping foot in this house <laughs> unless someone can like airbrush it for me then cool then, <laughs> then I'm, like sand down the edges a little bit and then just uh, brush it fantastic um, i mean you don't have to apply the effects to it you know you just well, but you kind of do don't you you gotta have some <laughs> you can have a custom stomach. stretchy thing yeah. <laughs> um but, but no uh, it's you know, they're, they're, you know as if, if i like how they go with it and it's not what i want then fine I'll, I'll always forever hold, have a little bit of resentment for 
the, the character, this version of the character and how it's been presented. But yeah. I I will try and be a big boy and like, get on with it. Uh, yeah, I, I, if yeah. I don't, I'm going to be insufferable. You might have to go your separate ways. Right. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the podcast, it's all together. It's, it's be, over. Be real bad. Right. Um, so we're so it ends in july so episode six airs in july right so where where are we june 20th so in third got episodes, four weeks I'm, left got four, yeah, weeks I was say, left. We got, got four weeks of hour-long episodes to kind of tie everything together yeah um i know we're halfway through right now or i say halfway through we're, we're a third of the way through and they you know blitz through the whole camera and stuff and it's just like oh hey i'm clearly a slimy piece of work like we're not going to waste any time with that here's my my slimy piece of work mother <laughs> who i assume yeah. wants the bracelet this is my entire thing she wants the bracelet because it can activate some stuff that can get her into wherever because i find it incredibly convenient that the himalayas are in india and around like pakistan in that way and it's like yeah. i know exactly who hid in the himalayas <laughs> oh this girl went missing who was like saying she could see all this stuff and do all this stuff and she went missing around in the india way i wonder where she went wonder where she went yeah some people just never came back oh that's convenient isn't it i wonder where they went so <laughs> like, it's I, I tell you what, actually, going back to your question, if they do all this stuff that adds up to humans and then they dupe me and it's not, I'm going to be. It's, that's that's worst case scenario. That's definitely. <laughs> like, if I get that close and they just go, <laughs> no. And it's, it's, it's like there's something, uh, no, I, I'll be actually bad. Yeah. But if they go that way and it is, there's no problem. No problem. We're totally cool. We're totally cool. <laughs> So That's we got two I'm... different versions of the show at the end of the season to look forward to. Yeah. <laughs> One angry, angry Mitch. You know, if they just want to show me, like, just show me the version I want, cool, I'm totally fine with that. Yeah. I'll ignore the fact that everyone else has the other version. I'll, I'll gladly take mine. Uh, yeah. Totally fine with that. No problem. You rewrite the whole uh, script and... I mean, I, 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 I know it's part of the, the damn schedule anyway, but like, I know this stuff's been reshot. Yeah, there was... and I know the Marvels is currently going to go and read these right now. It's just like, hey, yep. <laughs> hey, you know that backlash you got online for, I maybe entirely justified. Uh, let's, uh, let's maybe undo this idea that wasn't particularly the best. In the world. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, it's, if it doesn't go, they you know it, I, I'm playing it out for a bit for the most for the most part. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't like it, but I, I will. If it if it doesn't go the way, it's, it's, it's whatever at this point. As long as they don't, it's what you're saying, as long as they don't like tease you and then kind of honey dick you. On, if on they honey dick me, yeah, I'm going to have a big problem. <laughs> Massive problem. Have they done that in the shows? Like recently? Like you just... could argue the Mandarin, but I didn't have a. The, the, yeah, the, the irony, man. right? The hypocrisy. I didn't give a crap about the Mandarin twist. I actually quite liked it. But yeah, I mean, I never considered that like a, a bait and switch because I mean, it was a bait and switch, but but yeah. like it was a good bait and switch because like that character is problematic, man. <laughs> Come on, dude. it's problematic. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And you, you know, it's like and I, I what... like comic Mandarin. Like, I think I, would I still like you know. I like when Wu as well, right? I, I like yeah. every version of Mandarin they put in the MCU. Would I still like the actual Mandarin? Yes. Do I understand why I'm probably going to get that? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I think the closest to the comic version is Win Wu, which is fine by me because I no, think he, I, he's he's a mile off the comic version. I don't think he's anything yeah, remotely yeah. similar. He cool. He's an Asian guy with ten rings. Fantastic. That's literally as close <laughs> as you're going to get. <laughs> Well, I mean, as a stand, I mean, I, I never, like, never had, it's it's the Taskmaster thing all over again. It's like, does this character really mean that much to you that, you, <laughs> that you're that you going to have a problem with that character? You know? No, but I think, like, I think that's a lot of it, right? You know, it's Taskmaster, and it couldn't give a crap, right? That, yeah, he's, that's whatever. I've never really had an affinity for Taskmaster. Like, I've like Mandarin, it. like, they've been my thing since I was a kid. Like, it's, 
Yeah. I, I totally get the change. It's like, I, you know. It, it, yeah, as long as it's, it's a necessary change. Yeah, that's an example this... of a power set change that works out for the better, right? You know, yeah. Shang Chi in the comics, goofy as hell. He has a he can clone himself. He doesn't like doing it because it goes against the entire character. But if he has to do it, he'll do it. Doesn't need to do that in the movies because it's dumb. So we're gonna give him the ten yeah. minutes of that and bring in the Mandarin and have him that be his dad because Shang Chi's dad in the comics is very problematic. Two birds, one stone. Oh yeah. So, oh yeah. No, it isn't, and it worked. It's like it actually elevates yeah. the character a little bit more, and it, it well, makes it slightly more interesting. Well, a side note: wasn't the cloning part like them finding out that he's actually a mutant or something like that? There is my uh, pass. <laughs> I don't know enough about Shang Chi the comics to know that. Anybody want to educate me in the in the uh, comments? Go ahead. Uh, mm. I... I know. I was trying to think. Uh... I, I I need to know something. It's, it's not it's not about the powers or anything else. It's, it's, yep. entire, it's, it's more to the plot of the show. The little kid, the, the ice cream pizza boy, which by the way, <laughs> ew. That's ew. Well, well done. You found something worse than pineapple on a pizza. Like that's the. Well, that, that sounds like he's been smoking the you know the ganja. A I was gonna bit. say he's, he's he's on something. Like he's got the munchies. He was the shoe thief, right? Yes. Now, see, I, I thought think so. Because actually, not like I, I found it really odd that that they bring up a shoe thief and then nothing, but they focus for a split second on the kid's shoes and it's like, hold on, they were hers. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I've seen no one else mention that. It's just like, hold on, he's the shoe thief. <laughs> it's that little boy. Like, oh, there's no mention boy. of it. And I was like, I needed it. I need to know. <laughs> I believe like, it. even if like they never bring it up, my head cannon is he's the, the kid's the shoe thief. <laughs> she should have yeah, let him drop. Eats, no, and he has shoes. really disgusting taste. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I adored the fact that you had this like you know it's a typical thing nowadays, right? Everyone's got the, a camera in their pocket, so they they stream stuff on social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like you know, this kid nearly died. There's just a wave of memes. <laughs> like the neck, I, I adored that. That's uh, that's that's a now, right? You know, like it's, yeah. <laughs> you know, like for the most part, if if it wasn't like a, involving a gun, there's it is gonna be a meme about it somewhere yeah. down the line. It was just oh, I, I the, the the writers on this show have their like their finger on the pulse. They know exactly what goes plus, on. Plus, plus, this is probably the best representation of like high school students. But, I mean, that's including Spider-Man. I think Spider-Man did a great say, job of doing that. But like, I am. I I don't personally. I don't, I don't like saying it is the best because it's so far. Or in comparison to Spider-Man, right? Because it's. Yeah. I I don't know what a school like Peter's is, would be like. I never went to that sort of school. I never went to an American one, so I, I'll I'll never know what that experience was like. Yeah. Yeah, well, no, I, I mean, can understand smart. American people saying, like, "Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, that's exactly how it's like." But for at least from over this... here, it's like it, it's it's grey. <laughs> Kids mean... aren't happy in school. Like, come on, it's happy. Like, now nah, everybody's dressed the happy. same, right? Yeah, you, everyone's got the yeah. uniform. You're choking on your tie. Yeah. I, I I think, yeah. in, in my opinion, I think the the Spider Man stuff is is good, but it's a heightened version of like more yeah. stylized. Uh, I don't know. See, I would I have said Kamala's is more stylized because everyone seems turned up to eleven. I, you know, it, to me, I think that because, like, like, if you look at it though, like Spider-Man, the cast is all like in their twenties, right? Um, so they're, but I feel like these are actual what students like they're in high school right now, probably, or if they yeah, just no. got out of high school, well, they just got like. I mean, just graduated before they they filmed this. Literally, I was gonna say like, she, they, she found out she was cast on her last day of high school. So but <laughs> she I mean, like, any more out of it. <laughs> but she's not like twenty five either. No, know? she's she's, she's like nineteen. Right? Fresh she's out of high school, she's, you know. Nineteen now, yeah. She's fresh out, yeah. But like, you know, these are like I, I feel like these are some of the realest conversations in high school. That I mean, if, if I remember like my normal high school, you know, I'm not. I never went to a super smart high school. But like the high school that I did go to, I think I've seen almost like I think I've seen stuff like that happen in my high school. You know, I mean, sometimes worse, but like it, 
it, I mean, it, it, it's always a little too happy, you know, maybe for, yeah. you know, like I've seen, seen some dark stuff in, in my high school, but like, you know, like, so what you're fly, saying is you're more euphoria as opposed to Miss Marvel. Yeah. 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 I mean, it, it's still a heightened version of what real life is like, but it's, I feel like it's the closest so far. Yeah. To be I mean, I, I, I guess real. euphoria is a bit heightened the minute they had that, um, that stage yeah. production that was like a billion dollar budget. And it's just like, oh, it's, yeah, there's no way it's good. Then, you know, <laughs> the, yeah. <laughs> Not any high school in America, I don't think. Hmm. Unless you're going to like a, a paid, you know, uh, like a one private of those, like, school. Preppy colleges or something like that. But uh, yeah, I I always I I enjoyed the high, I enjoy the high school scenes in the show more. I mean, not to say that I don't like the high school scenes in in Spider Man, but it's like I still have that problem where like I know Tom Holland's like in his late twenties, you know, and like you know the you know everybody else is like in their late to early twenties, and like yeah, they probably just got out of high school maybe like three four years ago, but like. Yeah. The conversations that are happening in, in the high school in the show is more uh, what high schoolers talk about, you know, like, in, like yeah. the, you know, yeah. that's it's more uh, like updated, I guess. I don't know what, whatever word, but like it's more it's closer to what the reality of what a high school like the conversations that happen in yeah. all, you know, I don't know. But like I, 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 I enjoy... just thought, because to me, like all high school stuff in shows is is still the same to me. It looks no different. Like you, you hear yeah. people like, oh, that's not what it's like. It's like, it's sure because it is. It seems apart from the age of the actors, it seems no different. But, but I think the age of the actors play a huge part in like how real the conversations are because like oh yeah yeah, twenty five year olds talk about different things, you know, and like it, it seems like like when you're looking at the high school scenes in spider-man they're they're trying to imitate what an 18 year old or 17 year old would talk about in the high school where yeah. in the show it's all these it's the conversations they probably had days before they started filming this you know <laughs> like so like yeah this is a great conversation let's pull this into the show you know yeah and i don't know that it it, it landed on it landed for me more, a little bit more accurate to what a high school life is you know and like with the exception of like the hyper you know like like the horn ears i love that part i love the i love the use of like the imagery um mm. like like when you first meet the 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 the, the popular girl like the devil horns come on Zoe. You know? yeah i love all that you know like that that's that's going through i guarantee you that's exactly that's going through her head which is Love oh yeah, love it's it. it's also put you in like her shoes a bit more. Isn't shoes, it? yeah. She sees the world and everything, which I think you know. I say I think that that, that clearly plays a part into why uh, you just connect with this character. Now, yeah, I, I struggle to believe anyone who says they can't relate to Miss Marvel in the slightest. <laughs> just being, <laughs> uh, you, you, you can't. You just being, you know. It's, you're right, being choose at that point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're just being a like you know like you're just I don't know trying to be funny. I don't know, but uh, yeah, yeah, you know I love I love the guidance counselor. <laughs> yeah, he's he's really. He's funny. the only character I don't believe. Really? Yeah. Because we we, we don't have those sorts of like. Just that I, member of staff in school over here, right? We we don't have a guidance uh, counselor yeah. whatsoever, he, and the fact that he he's so turned up to tw like twelve, not even eleven, like he's gone, uh, he's, he's at twelve at this point. I just I don't wow. believe that that cool? sort of person. Not not that you know, I'm not yeah. saying that people can't be that eccentric, but like that sort of a eccentricity in a school role. Like to me, that, that just that just well, doesn't exist. That's, that's not well, the thing. Yeah. That well, in that, well, well, the reason I say that is like it kind of reminds me of the guidance counselor I had in high school, where he was trying to be like they were. He was he was always trying to be cool with the kids, talk about whatever they think mm. he think is popular. So I can, but I, you know, it, it's it's purely from a, a place of we didn't have yeah we didn't have guidance counselors or whatever the like. I, yeah. If we do, I never saw I never saw them and I don't remember them. Like that's how yeah much of a part they, they played. Nice. They have them here in the in the states where it's like they, especially during like you you 
you won't see you, those types of people unless you're causing problems or towards the end of the year when you're – and they do do that. And at least in my high school, they did bring us into the guidance counselor and go over, hey, what do you want to do? It's getting close to the end of the year. Do you have a plan? Blah, blah, blah. You know, like it did, that stuff did happen to me in my school, you know, and like – I yeah. did have a I did have I a say, we have those almost... conversations, we just don't have that person. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess different place, different, you know, time, you know. But yeah. I mean it 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 resonated with me a little bit more because it's like, yeah, that definitely reminds me of that guy that I, I talked to uh, the the guidance counselor that I had in high school is he's always trying to be the cool guy, you know. Yeah. Always like not not so much a authoritarian figure ever but like more of a hey i'm a cool friend that's a little older but i i'm always slightly behind in, in the trend so i'm going to talk about something that is like <laughs> months you know like it, 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 it definitely gets a chuckle out of me every time i see that guy and he, yeah. when you hear him talk it's like yeah yeah i can so what I you say that is that every time i've like just cringed that going like, oh this person doesn't exist in the high school situation <laughs> like that, that person actually is real yeah i mean i don't know if it's like that every school but i know like that role exists in high school, at least in, in, I mean, I don't, I don't know what every area is like, but like in the high school that I went to, it a hundred percent existed, you know, because uh, like they were always the, like the, they were the type of people that were the mediator between the, the principal and you, you know, like yeah. when you got in trouble or something, Oh, you got to go see the guidance counselor. You never see the principal until, unless you're doing something like horrendously wrong, you know, yeah. <laughs> but uh, like, that's the guy you talk to, you know? Um, but uh, yeah, again, you know, it's just really resonated with me a little bit more. And I got a little chuckle out of it every time the guy was on screen. Cause I was like, yeah, it reminds me of that guy, <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, that's fair. That's fair. But um, to wrap this up a little bit, I, I, I'm really hoping, and I'm also, I say, I'm expecting the third episode to really kind of peel back on what this bracelet is and to learn a bit more. Because obviously, we've had the two teases of like the the groups of people, and then, you know, this week she saw her grandmother and all that. Like, yeah. peel back on exactly what's going on. Maybe not exactly what's going on with that, but just like, hey, you're part of something I'm much bigger now. And. We're not genies because that would be stupid and dumb. Stupid. We, uh, <laughs> like, yes, I know genes play a part in like the like cult, the, the, like, the South Asian culture and all, all that sort of stuff. And you know, the dad mentions the the Alexa or not Alexa thing is possessed by like a gin or whatever. But right. yeah, hopefully, you know. It's... <laughs> I'm I mean, expecting I mean... a conversation about it in this episode about it. How what exactly is going on? Because of old Kamran's mother. Yeah, that I think that story really was cool. I think, like the the story about her uh, great grandmother. You know, uh, yeah. I think I think by this ep- next episode, you, you get, we get a little bit of a, a bit answer. more of an idea. Yeah, yeah, or like an idea of what, what's going on. Well, what the what where the power where all this comes from you know yeah. just i mean it makes sense it's the third episode it's the halfway point gotta start yeah. gotta start flapping your gums and what exactly i'm watching uh, what's next the memory gauntlet <laughs> i re- i really want a memory gauntlet no i but they're fun they're fun no. ways of like i know i literally cap. sat here last week and i was i was going on about the structure and the formula of the shows i want memory gauntlets i think they're fun yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a fun way of showing what has happened before without going back and doing it, like... Yeah. You know, also, like the fact that the two memory gauntlets we've had have been totally different to each other. Yeah. Because one was, like, discovering, you know, or I say discovering, one was, like, unlocking, like, repressed memories and stuff and how she got to a certain place. The other one was just like, hey, you know, here's actually how this thing happened that all the characters are completely aware of. Right? Yeah. Uh, this one, I said, hey, maybe, maybe it tells this. you a little bit about the about. Uh, I, I I have a feeling that you're gonna get that in around three or four, you know, and like it's gonna be. If it's not it's episode four, even... then they change something up, and I don't appreciate change. <laughs> Can't take change. Man. <laughs> um, I want my formula, but I don't want it to change. But I want different, different ingredients in different places. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, I'm the average consumer. I don't know what I want. <laughs> Give me pancakes. I'll tell you I mean, what I want, but I have no idea what I actually want. <laughs> I'll give I'll give you an idea of what I what I think I want. So I <laughs> Do this, but not like that, but exactly this way. Yeah, in this order, you know, yeah. but not not that way. Yeah, you know, I think it, I think uh, I think the next episode will be pretty fun. So at least <laughs> I thought it was fun to talk about. I was gonna say this. With this show, I have zero doubt that it's going to be anything less than fun because it is, yeah. at the core, it's exactly what it is. That's exactly yeah. what it needed to be. You can't have like a grim, dour Miss Marvel show. Yeah, I think that would be a that would be a significant change in the character. That would yeah. be like kind of like whoa. Yeah, this is not the character in the comics. You know, this is yeah. a completely different person. <laughs> you know, no, I I do appreciate that. It's it is Kamala, and it's Kamala. Through yeah. and through. At the core of the of the uh of the character it's still there, you know, like this is the yeah, yeah. come out of the comics, you know, like she's she's fun, she's whimsical and you know, like and you know, I can't wait to, to get the costume on to be, you know, to kind of get it all Yeah, I'm expecting that to be the last episode because hey <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, it's the formula, right? Yeah, stick to the formula. It's just like, oh. but, but Moon Knight kind of threw that formula into the trash. <laughs> there is, in Exceptions a way. prove the rules, though. That's, That's the thing. true. But, yeah. Actually, how many, you know, Loki didn't have the costume. Loki wasn't a I mean, costume. TSA, I mean, the, the, uh, the jacket isn't a costume. <laughs> no, but it's, it's not like the yeah, no. Loki suit, is it? Like, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. one Divi- one division was about getting a suit. Cat- uh, Falcon Winter Soldier was about getting a suit. I can't remember what we had now. Loki wasn't. He had what if they don't they don't count. Uh, Hawkeye was about getting a suit, really. In a way, yeah. Um, yeah. Getting two suits in that show. <laughs> two for the price of one. Um, yeah, it's an origin was... story. The, the suit's part of the origin. It's just where it ends is fine. It's, it's totally fine. But Moon Knight kind of threw it on it, flipped it a little bit, you know, and like, hey, here's the suit at the end of the episode. <laughs> and then you won't see the suit for like, at least two more episodes again. Okay. I mean, I, one would, one could say that the characters are the suits. You know, I don't know. I'm being philosophical. I mean, in fairness, um, Konshu got the suit at the end, so Moon Knight didn't flip it on his head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Moon, Moon Knight just sidestepped you into thinking he was getting a suit. It's just like, hey, I've got one. You are the suit. Um, <laughs> I know, good episode. Um, yeah. Hopefully, we're back next week, and I'm just as happy. So. Hopefully, I don't have any uh, crazy. I gotta go somewhere. <laughs> do I mean, hopefully for the one guy, I was like, "Oh, it's just all complaining." Yes, it was all complaining, but, but hopefully, <laughs> this is better for me. <laughs> I read that it comment was... and I was like, "Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it yeah. was an hour and ten minutes of me complaining. I, I, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I won't apologize because no. I mean, look, but... you, you, it's your opinion. You know, you can say it however you want to, yeah. complaining or not. You know, it's just you know that's how you want. That's what you feel. You know." I won't lie and say I got it out of my system because it's gonna, it's always gonna be I'm always still there. Gonna the have, pit. Always gonna have to say it, but it's all you know. It's, it's still there in the pit of your stomach. Waiting exactly, to come out, you know, it, the is, it is what it is. Them. It just unfortunately is what it is. So yeah, we'll uh, catch you on next week. So bye bye.